number 14 of Warfare Keys. What's the next point? Key number 27. War, warfare keys. Never forget the principle of death in war. Principle. A good general bears in mind the death principles of war. Death principles. What are the death principles? Number one. A good general knows that those who are intent on living can be captured. Those who really want to live can be captured. You get it? Hmm? These are death principles. Number two, a good general knows that those who give themselves to death can be killed easily. These are the death principles. And then, A good general knows that those who give themselves to death can be killed easily. And then number three, a good general is not committed to death and yet does not expect to live because he is committed to the war. A good general is not committed to death And yet does not expect to live. Because he is committed to the war. Okay. Notice the first one. When somebody is intent on living. He can easily be captured. Do you see? <laughs> Your plan is to live. <laughs> yeah. You know. This principle is what Jesus said that he that saves his life will lose it. Yeah. Now, the people who are intent on living, I will never lose. I will never die. I will never suffer loss. I will never lose anything. Eh? They can be captured and they are the ones who, get, who lose in the end. Yeah. You see, over the years, many of the people who have refused to come, is this the right thing? The red color? Red? Okay. Many of the people who have refused to yield themselves to God, to work for Him fully and full time, have lost. Yeah? And it is leading to difficulties, financial difficulties. Many lay pastors who have been lay pastors for a long time are in a lot of financial difficulties. Oh, yeah. It's something that I've seen. Because those who are intent on living can be captured. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those who are intent on living can do what? Yeah. They can rather be captured. Forgive. Yeah. Many, 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 many of the lay pastors are in financial difficulties. Yeah. How many know that? Do you know some lay pastors who are in financial difficulty? Yeah. One time I called a certain pastor and I said to him, I need you to come for something. That, between that pastor and his wife, they earn between, uh, between, let's say, fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Between fifteen to twenty thousand dollars a month, or maybe between twelve and twenty, between twelve and twenty thousand dollars. But I will put it more around fifteen. Yeah, fifteen thousand. 
Do you know what he said? He said, I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. I said, wow. Money. Money to come. Wow. Are you surprised? Yeah? Those that are intent on living, I didn't hear you, can be captured. Yeah. yeah. And watch out for soldiers who are, I mean, they are, they, their mind is that I will live. I will not lose. I will not die. I will not be transferred. But if I'm transferred, I will lose my chicken farm, my pig farm, my this, my this, my that, my corn meal. As the years go by, you will be surprised. Collins. Those that are intent on living. If you have been intent on living, you would not have left Amsterdam. Yeah. You are determined to live. <laughs> but you now, you have seen people being captured at that place. <laughs> For some years. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Then the second principle is that what? A good general knows that those who give themselves to death can be killed easily. Yeah. Which is another principle that you don't just throw yourself at something that you see is negative just because it is negative. Do you understand? Like maybe you are supposed to do your security. You don't do it. Or you are supposed to do certain things or family planning. <laughs> Or you're supposed to do, I mean, something to save money. Or whatever. You don't throw yourself at death. But if death is coming, you, when you have the intention to live by all means, you are the one who can be captured. But a good general knows that when you make yourself, that, oh, ask for me, I'm going to die. This one is whatever. You will die. You see, so those, both those who are trying to preserve themselves is, are easily captured and easily killed. And those who throw themselves senseless, senselessly at death are also equally foolishly captured see, and, and, or killed. And, and that is why God does not intend us to sacrifice things He has not asked us to sacrifice. And He has not asked you to sacrifice something. I one time I told somebody, I said to somebody, go from here to this. Okay, I'll sell my house, I'll sell my school, I'll sell my business. As I said, I said, take your time. It is true that you, you, you are not intent on living. But also, don't throw yourself at death. Yeah. Or you don't understand what I'm saying. Huh? Or maybe you can build a house. So, after me, I'm to suffer for God. So, I will not build a house. You can easily be captured. <laughs> or you see recently I heard of some armed robbers who came to a certain house and then the, the, the pastor was not there the wife, the wife was there in Accra and so when they came the dogs beat the armed robbers and chewed them so by the time this Called call and whatever, and got there. The ambrobes had been driven out by these wild dogs, and the blood was all on the trail, right up, followed them to the wall and where they went, all over there. You see, so now if maybe you can have a dog, I say, oh, an angel will, will, will look after me. Or, or you don't get what I'm saying, an angel will look after me. Yeah. Or maybe you have, you have to have a gun. And so, 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 I don't believe in guns. I have faith. Or the door. You I don't believe in whatever. You understand? As if you, are you afraid? Or whatever. You don't throw yourself at death. Even though you are prepared to die if necessary. So I will not build a house. I will not do this. Or well, my children should be there. I have sacrificed them to God. They shouldn't go to school. They should be in the house with us. <laughs> yeah. 
But my children will not, will not know how to speak English because I'm on the mission field. But you see, those who are... I was, telling, I was telling one pastor, I said, as he was leaving, you see, like you take somebody like Pastor Paul, when he was leaving London, he has his, he has his own firm, law firm. Did you employ people there? Yeah. He was an employer. Not that he had gone to work there. But he was employing, he was creating jobs in England. And I said, go to Venezuela. Do you understand? And we can pay you $200 or $300 or something. That is what we can pay. And I'll pay. They said, oh, there's a school there. You mentioned a school very expensive. Look, me to in Ghana, I could send my children to Lincoln this. I'll pay school fees 10000 this, this. But we don't do that. If we do that, we can't stay in Ghana too. Ghana too, we can mention a lot of money that you can't stay here. But then I told him something, you know. You see, those who are intent on living can be captured. Now, I said, you have one daughter. You'll be surprised one day. Just going to this country, it may look as if you are taking the child away from England, from this, from this. But you'd rather be surprised that one day you see that this your child can speak two languages. Which we go to, if one of the valuable things, you can change into this language. And you can change to this language. Very few people in the world can do that. But your child can do that. Is it, is it not true? Yeah. And most of the people who are preserving themselves in London, you may be surprised that one day, the child will come and say, Mama, I feel that I am a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Mama, I want to change my name from Sam to Sam C. Samantha. <laughs> Samuela. Hey! That's where you may see that those who are intent on living have been captured. Yeah. So don't have that. I'm, I will not die. I will not die. You rather. You rather. You'll be surprised. And then the third principle, a good general is not committed to death and yet does not expect to live because he is committed to the war. You see, that is the thing that a good general does not expect to live. <laughs> He's not going to throw himself at death, but he also does not expect to live. What do you think? Yeah. His eyes are on the wall. You see? So this is a very important psychology for a general. How many are generals here? Yeah. You are not intent on living. But you also do not expect to live. Because you are a good soldier. You see, you are not determined. I'll be home and sleep. But at the same time too, you don't expect to live. Because what? You are committed to the war. How many can see there's slight differences? Yeah. And each difference in your psych psyche and your psychology, you get it, affects how you fight. Because when you are intent on living, attack! <laughs> Let something happen first. We are, we are looking at things. We are looking at things to see how things will turn out. Before we uh, take certain steps. So I've asked my men to wait. So we are watching things for some time. <laughs> because you are watching. You fear. <laughs> you don't want to die. You don't want to die. Do you get it? Yeah. We are, we are observing one or two things for some time. Before we take some steps so. In war, you have to be patient. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. So, Kweku, don't be intent on living. You can easily be captured. And as I have gone forward, I have seen that those who have tried to live have been captured. Because the Bible says, eh? Eh? He that 
saves his life shall lose it. The Lord may be you, he shall lose it. At the same time, you are not supposed to be a fool. Yeah. And at the same time, you don't expect to live. So you don't expect this, you don't expect this. You are committed to one thing, the war. Whatever the war brings, if it brings life or it brings death, you are going for the war. What do you think? Is it a powerful key? This message continues on the next track. Keep listening.